We perceive our environment, colors, contrasts, contours, and movements, mainly with our eyes. When we lose our visual sense, we lose a connection to our surroundings. Retinitis pigmentosa, a disease of the retina, closes a window to the world. At Tübingen's University Medical Center, Hector Fellow Eberhard Srenner is working hard towards reopening this window to the world. He uses futuristic technology to replace the damaged sensory cells of his patient's retinas. His long-term goal, to make the blind see again. The eye has always fascinated me. That's why I decided to become an ophthalmologist. Originally, I was headed towards electrical engineering. But when I saw how the eye and the brain function so much better than any technology available today, that's when the fascination set in, and it hasn't abated yet. This patient is suffering from retinitis pigmentosa, an illness that destroys vision. Eberhard Srenner was able to give him back some of his eyesight using a small retina chip. This chip detects light and transforms the signal into electrical pulses sent to the brain via the optic nerve. Now patients who were completely blind can once again perceive light and the contours of objects. This patient can even distinguish geometric shapes circle, triangle, and letters, an S, an I. For someone who used to be blind, it's a big improvement being able to find a window, see a light source, or find a door thanks to the contrast between a white door and a dark wall. This kind of eyesight is not precise, but still helpful to most patients. I can see the line going across there. The chip developed by Professor Srenner's team was also implanted in this patient in Oxford. It's fantastic. It it's is. round. It's an arched window, yeah. They're all arched, are they? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Paler chunk there, which um, may possibly be an open door or just an open archway. In a project supported by the Hector Fellow Academy, Eberhard Srenner and his colleague Wadud Haak work on improving existing chip technology. Although there have been great advances, the images produced by the retina chip are still rather rough. It's an enormous challenge to replace a diseased retina even only partly. Highly sensitive microelectronics are required to translate the great variety of light signals into electrical pulses. So far, the system works well for distinguishing light and dark, but vision is more than just that. The next step is to improve the resolution. We have 1,600 electrodes, but each electrode replaces 10 or 20 retina cells, which means the picture is coarse. If we want to make the image more detailed, we need better transmission. Then we would connect to smaller cell groups or even individual cells. That would considerably increase the resolution of the image perceived by the patient. It is Wadud Haak's task to connect the technology to human sensory cells inside the eye. In their lab in Tübingen, the researchers are testing a new type of electrode. They connect it to a sample of a mouse's retinal tissue. Under the microscope, they discover that the retina responds well to the electrical stimuli sent out by four of these electrodes, a big step in the right direction. These so-called organic electrodes are manufactured at the Technological University in Dresden. The technology is being developed by the Hector fellow Karl Leo and his colleague Franz Selzer. The electrodes must be built according to medical specifications. They have to provide a reliable signal and must not irritate the inside of the eyeball. 
science at the nexus of machine and body. Their contribution is improving the recipe time and again. Our testing and feedback help refine the electrodes and hopefully we will eventually end up with multiple electrodes that can be integrated into one chip, thus increasing the optical resolution and improving chip performance for our patients. It's a whole new world for us. Because organic electronic engineering has great potential for medical applications, we're glad to help. Plus, you profit as a scientist when you broaden your horizon and talk to people from other fields of research. The mission to partly replace retinal tissue is such a big challenge, it requires a combined effort using medical knowledge and technological expertise. Eberhard Senner's project thus relies on collaboration with other Hector Fellows from various disciplines. The Hector Fellow Academy provides a special forum. When I talk to others in the fields of medicine, science and technology, the unexpected can happen. You have an inspiration that opens up new possibilities, and then you don't just talk about it, you actually go ahead and do it. Together with young people whom we supervise in teamwork, that is Hector Fellow Academy. Sie haben natürlich alle ihre herausragenden Fähigkeiten, sonst wären sie nicht Fellows geworden. An interdisciplinary forum led by Hans Werner Hector that stimulates innovation and can provide impulses for a better future. Eberhard Srenner's project is one of many examples of how cooperation among Hector Fellows can move science forward and create new and fascinating results. Teamwork in science, technology and research for the greater good.